Hello everyone and welcome back to Every Heart Can Dance. This is Kirill and today we are wrapping up our Samba basic series. Over the last eight weeks we have a variety of different exercises to match bounce with the movement in space, to work about Samba hip action and to talk about the speed of Samba and how to manage it. We had different exercises for that. We also looked at different figures like reverse basic, whisk, uh, volta, botafogo and Samba walks. So today I'm going to put all those figures together and we can practice it with music. Alright, let's start from the names of the figures with the count at first, after which we're going to talk about priorities for the whole routine and whether those priorities would change depending on the figure and the movement that you are doing. Alright, we're going to start on the right foot flat, left foot is placed on inside edge of the toe and we're going to start from the preparation of bounce. Five, six, seven, eight and, and moving on to reverse basic and we're going to do four of them. One, a two, two, a two, three, a two, four, a two. The next figure is whisk. We're going to do it four times. One, a two, two, a two, three, a two, four, a two, followed by forward samba walks. So we're going to have three of them and one side samba walk. One, a two, two, a two, three, a two, and side samba walk. Four, a uh, two, moving on to four butterfogos. One, a uh, two, two, a uh, two, three, a uh, two, four, a uh, two. The next figure is volta to right. The fourth one is a replace to side to change direction. One, a uh, two, a uh, three, replace a uh, four. Moving to this uh, to left now, we're gonna have four voltas without replace. One, a uh, two, a three, a four, followed by four whisks again. One, a two, two, a two, three, a two, four, a two. And the last figure we have is the stationary summer walk. We're actually going to have three of them. And the fourth uh, action is going to be a replace or change direction, change of direction action. One, a two, two, a two, three, a uh, two and step forward like in Botafogo reverse basic. Four, body start churning when we're growing and we do replace, replace. Now we can change direction and go back again to be more continuous with music. And one, a uh, two, two, a uh, two, three, a uh, two. That was reverse basic, moving to whisk. One, a uh, two, three, a uh, four, five, a uh, six, seven, a uh, eight. Four some walk. One, a uh, two, Two, a two, three, a two, four, a two, moving into Botafogo. A one, a two, three, a four, five, a six, 
seven, uh, eight. And moving to right, we have four voters one way, four uh, voters the other way. One, a two, a three side replace a four, five, a six, a seven, eight, four whisks. Three, four, five, six, seven stationary. One, a two, two, a two, three, a two. On the last one, fourth one, small step forward. Growing body training, replace, and we start from the very beginning again. In this way, we can dance nonstop with music. Okay, that was very simple, very basic samba routine with its main focus on to bounce or bouncing action. However, if you recall from the previous tutorial, we talked about that there are three different levels of height in samba, which means we have up, middle, and down. But every time we're dancing, we're only staying within two consecutive levels, which means we either up to middle or middle to down. So figures that have our feet together all the time, like whisk and reverse basic, we have the most amount of bounce, the most grounded bounce, and we are dancing at the middle to down level. So the bounce is very strong and staying down. Figures that have more movement, even slight movement, we have a slight bounce, which means we still have to stay a little bit higher up without dropping too much down. It means we're dancing in the up to middle level. So Botafogo, Volta, forward summer walk, side summer walk, even stationary summer walk, we all dance in an up to middle level. Okay, just a side note regarding Volta, it actually can be danced in both sections, depending how much progression you would have. If in your volta you progress a lot, you will dance up to middle. If you are more stationary, you don't have much space like in my room right now, then you'd probably have to stay a bit more middle to down to create a bit more bouncy action with less progression side to side. How about we try it together? And we're gonna determine which figure, again, I'm gonna review it, demonstrate it to you, how we manage that up to middle, middle to down. Okay, let's try it together. Okay, I'll be back in you. I'm gonna start the same way on the right foot. Left one is pressed down inside edge. And you're gonna start with bounce. So five, six, seven, eight. And I'm not going up on ankle to too much. Actually, I'm not going up on ankle to staying flat. So kind of five, six, seven, eight without changing anything through my top part. Remember, bounce going forward and back. That's the main, uh, the main action, not up and down. So five, six, seven, eight, and moving to reverse basic. I'm not going super, super high up. I'm gonna, I will straighten the knees, but the action is gonna be moving forward and lower in one, a two, three, a four, five, a six, seven, eight. If you see, I still use my ankle, but I'm trying to come back, come back, come back. One, a two, a three, a four. That's the feeling of it. So we don't go a one, a two, a three. We're not popping too, too high up. Yeah, so let's try it one more time. So five, six, seven, eight, one, a two, two, a two, three, a two, four, a two. Again, the next very grounded movement is whisk. And one and a two, a three, a four, a five, a six, seven, a eight. See, I'm really trying to come back down to grow. The next figure is forward samba walk. And I'm going to try to stay more up. Up on toes. But when I'm lowering, I bend just very slightly. Whoop, just very little. Slip go. And one, slip go. One, slip go. Side samba walk. So I still bounce, I still create bouncing action, but bending my knees less. Let me share something else with you. We have four positions of our knees. Straight knees, bent knees, flexed knees, and locked knees. When we're pushing knees super back, hyperextending them. So when we're doing the forward samba walk with slight progression action, uh, butterfly as well, we're gonna have just slightly flexing the knees. Don't bend too, too much and come back out. Yes, if you're gonna be bending too much, then goes into the whisk and reverse basic area of being middle to down. So, one more time with the forward samba walk and one, a two, two, slight bounce, two, three, a three, a side some walk, four, a go. Again, very slight action, very slight bounce. I'm staying up and not allowing myself to go to down. Butterfogo, same idea. 
One, I'm bending very little. A two, two, a two, three, a two, four, a two. Volta, there is an option. If I'm moving and one and a two and a three and a four, if there is more movement, then we have way less bounce. Just very little to go, to go, to go. But if we don't have much space, then we would go one and a two and a three and a four. One and a two and a three and a four. One again, more bounce. More bounce on the whisk. Staying down, see I'm not popping up. Okay, stationary summer walk. One and staying up to middle. A two and two and a two. Three, a two and reverse, uh, not, not reverse basic. Uh, starting is reverse basic and change of direction. Ta, ta, ta. Same idea, I'm not bouncing too much. And then we can increase bounce and keeping it on the reverse basic. That's the main idea. That's what we're thinking about when we are dancing our samba. At least one of the priorities, one of the main ones to start with. Five, six, seven, eight, one. So middle to down. Middle to down, more bounce. Still middle to down. That was very simple samba basic routine that will help you develop and manage your bounce to match it with the music. That was probably the most difficult part that normally people have in samba. Please practice, please let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. We'll be more than happy to incorporate them or address them in the following videos. Please subscribe to my channel, like the video, share the video, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye now. <laughs>